Welcome back to BYU Sports Station. We are live in Studio hey, B. We're ready for baseball, bro. February baseball in Provo. Well, because of a leap year. Because of a leap year. Otherwise, it'd be Thank March. Thank you very much. If First BYU, time since when? 09? Home game? Listen, if BYU loses game the game, game, just strike it from the record. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. Because it was on a leap year. So Solar. We'll just go ahead and wipe that one away. Yeah. yeah. Uh, joining us now is one of the BYU baseball stars, Luke Anderson, is back on the show. Luke, welcome up, back Luke? to BYU Sports Nation. Glad to be back. Look at this well groomed mustache. It's blonde, <laughs> so you can barely see it, but uh, it's it's early in the season. You got to you gotta grow one out, right? Yeah. I had it dyed before the season, but then Did I, you really? I just shaved it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's growing back. It's growing back. You dyed it? Yeah. Like, Blonde, you can't even see it. Uh, That's what I'm so saying. I had to yeah. dye it, yeah. It's all good. You're looking all right. like Corey Snyder in the 80s here. <laughs> the you're good. Looking good, man. <laughs> you, uh, you're like going to be hitting like Corey. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah, that. Listen, uh, I know it's it's always tough to start. Seven games on the road. Um, you're away from home for a long time. Like that, that is a challenge for these spring sports, especially baseball and softball. But what does it mean to be home and to be you know sleeping in your own bed and hosting a February home game at Miller Park. It's nice. Um, it's always ideal to play at home, you know. Um, seven games on the road to start the season, like everyone's like a little uptight, so it's it's always going to be um, a little rough. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not really worried. We're at home, three games, so it should be fun. How was Sloan Park, home of the uh, Cubs in spring training? Oh, it was un unbelievable. One of the nicest fields I've ever played on. Did you That's get a awesome. picture with the uh, little Wrigley sign and everything? No, I should have, though. You were busy playing baseball? You got video. Yeah, you got video of it. You self-played. Surely that counts for something, right? Yeah. Even though you didn't get a picture. Yeah, 100%. I mean, okay, Gonzaga in town. Familiar foe. Mm -hmm. uh, how different are they from uh, the, the squad you played the last couple of years? Um, I'm not really sure. I know they got a, they had a lot of players leave, transfer. Um, I think they, for the most part, um, the pitchers are the same, but the lineup looks a little different, so we'll see how they are. It's like, hey, who's our first non-conference uh, uh, home games as a Big 12? Oh, it's the homies from Spokane. <laughs> what, do you, what are you uh, expecting and hoping for, obviously, to uh, play well uh, this weekend against Gundek? Um, just hoping offense, you know, we put some runs up on the board for our pitchers. Our pitchers have done unbelievable this year, I think. Um, a little better than last year, <laughs> for sure. Um, so we just need the offense to just turn it up a little bit. You may have just answered my question because I was going to follow that up with, okay, through seven games, what does BYU baseball, as far as an identity goes, do best right now? Um, I would say our, our pitchers from last year have, have been unbelievable. And from the fall, I would say for the hitters, um, we are really good at putting the ball in play, and the first seven games have been a little rough at that. Like, we've been striking out a little too much. But our chase rate's down. Like, we have 18% chase rate, which is actually unbelievable. So we're just missing balls in the zone, and if we can figure that out, we'll be, we'll be really good. What's a good rate? Just, just to add some context to that. Under 20%. So 18%, it's really good. And would like, chase rate be you're, you're going after a ball outside the zone? Outside the zone, okay. yeah. Swinging outside the zone. But our swing and miss rate in the zone is, like, above 40%. So. Okay. So that's where yeah. you're looking for improvement, obviously. Yes. Yeah. Did you use all the runs you were hoping for in game one against UC Davis? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> he scored 20. That yeah. was amazing. Yeah, it was unbelievable. <laughs> 20 runs. I don't think we scored 20 when it was Ross here. So 20, it was, it 20 is incredible. We've seen some great performances the last few years. That was up there. Game ones, you guys have been money, right? Game yeah. one, you win. You mm -hmm. beat, uh, what, SC? And then you win game one against UC Davis. So today's guaranteed victory, is that what you're saying? <laughs> Let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come out and play hard, but we just got to put everything together. What, what is it about sort of uh, today's game that makes it unique or fun, given that, hey, you're a Big 12 team and you're at home for the first time ever, and it's February? Those, those are unique kind of things with this game, it feels like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we'll be a little more relaxed just being at home um, for sure. And it's just a good – we have a lot of new kids on this team, I think, more than half of our roster is new, so. Did you have Hi My Name Is badges in the fall to just introduce each other? Should have, yeah. <laughs> like, it took a little bit for everyone to get to know each other. Like, I don't, I didn't know anyone's names like two weeks in, so. But it was, it's good, and that's the fun part about it. You get to meet new people, play with new kids. It's awesome. Luke Anderson is with us on BYU Sports Nation. What's the biggest challenge making the transition from the West Coast Conference to the Big 12? And how has that impacted your preparation from last season to now seven games in? 
Um, the Big 12 Conference, it's arguably one of the best. I mean, SEC is legit, ACC is legit, but Big 12 is top two, top three. So coming from the West Coast Conference, it'll it's a definitely a big jump. A lot of uh, really good players because everyone loves to go to the big schools for baseball. And so it's, it's going to be really fun. Um, I'm excited. But our preparation, um, like I said, we've been trying to like do more stuff like attacking the zone. Um, we got a lot of new good pitchers, obviously, so that should help us out a lot. What did you personally work on in the off season for this year? Um, for me, my sw like my swing a lot. Um, I got a big leg kick, so I had to like try to tone it down a little bit. Okay. That, Are we talking like Bryce Harper big leg kick? It's it's up there. It really is, and um, so I've been trying to control that because I struck out a lot last season, but I also was able to put the ball in play a lot. So just toning it down a little bit, trying to control it with my uh, body. Who's your big league comp? Hmm. Like team or player? Player. Rafael Devers. I like that. Red Sox. Red like Sox that. fan. You're a Red Sox fan? Yeah. So you had to pick a Red Sox guy? Is that how that works? Have to, yeah. Okay, very nice. Have to. Do you have any superstitions? I, I ask this to every baseball player. Are you a baseball player? Yeah, do you have any, like, <laughs> okay, do you have crazy superstitions? superstitions? Yeah. No, I don't have any, like, Oh, you're crazy. the one that doesn't. I love no, it. No, I don't have any crazy ones. I really... I, what are the not crazy ones? I like to take the same... If we win, I like to take the same route to the field. Okay. What, what route is that? It's the back way through, the back way through <laughs> Provo, because I live. Oh, in you're talking streets. Yeah. Like I, home. Yeah, I live. In, I live in Vineyard, so I don't like to go on University. Too many lights and people. Yeah. So I like to take the back way through uh, Provo. So after a win, like Center just Street, to get the right Geneva. Mindset. Yeah. 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 yeah I, exactly. You're going by the temple now on the way <laughs> out there. I like. All that. right, that qualifies as a superstition. Okay, we'll call it mild. It's just a stition. Sure. We'll call it, we'll call it mild. Yeah. It's a stition. <laughs> he's just a little stition. Yeah, he's a little yeah, stition. I don't, like I don't have Scott. any big ones. Yeah. All right, Luke. Uh, most importantly, let's give you some BYU Sports Station karma as you open up a three-game series against Gonzaga. Okay, maybe Good luck, you'll, man. Maybe you'll hit three home runs in a game again. Who knows? Hopefully. Okay. I'll take a homer. I'll take that, and then we'll go <laughs> build off that. I just know you're going to be yeah. great because yeah. you were on the show and you got the karma. Yeah. So enjoy. Thank you. And contrary to popular belief, he does have a mustache. And we can see it. It's right here. Luke, have fun today. I need today. to dye that Thank thing. You. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, Luke.